Maybe I eat an upbeat and die. So you existed at the wrong. Place. Yes. So I don't know, maybe, maybe there's something to, to like those elegant shakes. I like did like a little shoulder thing myself before we were playing today. Oh Let me tell you, I was I was chefing it up a little bit. But Goblin getting a couple of swats already. Nice uh, you know, clean 32 percent. And this is where it gets dangerous because you sit at the ledge against Roy and all of a sudden you could just sort of okay. look at the numbers climb. Guys, to go for another jab, too. I'm not going to be able to find it. He is pressing. He is mixing up his shield pressure. Now, Elegant may be a little bit too Oh, no! And that's all that it's going to take. Now, we've been seeing this a lot from Elegant, and it's a pretty typical Luigi habit when you have the tornado out of disadvantage. But Goblin was so prepared with the parry follow-up and the follow-through. But Elegant's no slouch either, taking almost no damage before equalizing the stocks. Did he, like, pop off with his fist? Did he, like, stretch his hand after that? I don't know what the, he did. The micro pop-off? Oh, my God. Look at this damage. 59, 68, 85. Doesn't matter if it's not a zero to death because now you're off stage, stuck in the ledge against Luigi. But then Goblin doing what everybody in Ultimate loves. God don't want none of that business. We don't run away. We jump into him, ledge. It's Ultimate, baby. I'm going. I'm going to use all of my L speed and get the hell out of him. But, but where are you going? Into Uppy. Up to the top blast zone. No damage dealt in that stock, by the way. Wow. Goblin basically threw away a stock. He threw it right into that loving plunger of Elegant. But, oh, he has no double jump off stage. This could be it, but the deceptive side B hitbox, it's always more active than you think it is. Somebody's mashing. This whole set is a mash. Check, Dar. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is Roy and Luigi. You get caught pressing a button at the wrong time, and you are absolutely fucking stressful. That foyer from Elegant was so smart, just like knowing that Goblin likes to mix up, and also he's at the wrong distance. Misfire in the nooch. Yeah, I hate it. Able here. to connect it to. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, good you catch. You weren't supposed to be there. Yeah, and that should be it here. You weren't supposed to be there! Yeah, good tech from Elegan. He was able to make it back down. I think that Uffy was like a little bit too preemptive. But now this is so doable for Goblin. He's looking for that falling up here. Elegant's looking out for it. He's being really patient. One this thing we haven't had a chance to discuss yet is the notion of playing with Rage. Because Roy with Rage is a disgusting beast. Yeah. And when Elegant finds himself into these situations where he gets the combo off, but no kill on the follow through. Hold up, did that take the jump? Nope. Yeah, it took his jump, but then you, oh, excuse me, it did take his jump. <laughs> At the end of the day, back row, not gonna be able to do it quite yet. Good DI, keeping Goblin alive, who just a little bit longer, waits, and that's how Elegant keeps his down B safe. It's so dangerous. Yo, the down tilt, I thought he was gonna dash back, go in for the double edge dance. And he runs all the way to the ledge, gonna be setting up a ledge trap, catching his jump through, but still gonna be able to up be back on. Not again. He keeps giving up stage to go through these down bees, looking like Rob over here, right? It's but a whole lot of spinning. And he is, oh. Elegant is counting his blessings right now. Yeah, Elegant not forcing that situation. Now he's stuck at the ledge against Goy. This is one of the scariest places to be in the game. Really nice down tilt, nice and safe, nice and quick. Keeps him out for a little bit longer. Goblin is looking for this kill, but an excellent foyer from Elegant. All of a sudden, this is his positional lead. One thing I, I must take the time to highlight is just how patient Elegant has been. Seeing just how many reversals a Goblin is forcing, and Elegant is not overstepping his welcome. Unfortunately, one foul swing. And another micro pop off. All right, the energy is felt for both of these players yeah. as the set goes into game two. In my opinion, as a commentator, I did not like a lot of those down bees from Elegant. It's a little messy. They won't connect. So, like, the idea is this, right? It's like the same exact idea of like the fighting Rob side. You know, it will cover any option besides timing mix ups. Goblin was sitting there and waiting at the ledge every single time for Elegant to press down B. And then he was just able to get back on. Elegant gave up stage. He took so many hits for it. He took so much damage. Instead of going for maybe some more traditional ledge trapping options. Even though he didn't get hit for the down B itself, he put himself into the point of an off stage willingly. But now 90%, the question is, can he finally find the ledge trap? I think the fact that Elegant is very willing to wait until these later percents is actually a good thing. It's just a matter on how effectively he can give us the follow through because yep. it's just a matter of waiting for goblins in this position. And while I'll absolutely agree with you, Elegant has been doing a poor job of maintaining that stage control by way of giving up at the ledge, I do think keeping the percentage lead is extremely important. Yeah, now stuck at the ledge, you gotta be so careful here. That's gonna be a couple of swats, keeping him off stage, keeping him at bay. Waits and is able to delay it properly. The pickup? The scoop, the head? That long scoop? Wow. It's enough. 
Dash in the back. Oh, he's fishing. He's plunging. He's looking for that dash back to the grab. He is up to no good. Oh, no, my he God. knew. He just knew. I don't think that side B, that up B was intentional. Maybe he was trying to catch a jump with it, but maybe he was a missing put at side B. Either way, dealing so much damage with some of these up Bs. Tries to go for another side B, but Zay keeping Elegant alive for a little bit longer. Like the fact that they're getting parried, they're getting punished, but ultimately not too much. It's so interesting. With yeah. Falling just a little too low, it's going to even up the stock count. And again, not that much damage built up. Luigi lives and dies by his double jump. He had no double jump, and it's as a result, he was done skis. So much damage. Oh, able to trade, but honestly, this is in favor of Goblin because he was able to put him to the point of able to catch the whiff punish. He is really packing this damage on. Goblin is doing such a good job of making sure that he could get out of the threat of sweet spot up here. That's the, yeah. maybe the third time we've seen a whiff, and it's all just been on the DI mix up. Good, ambiguous DI. All right, Elephant could be slowing down the pace of the match a little bit. Now he's stuck in a corner. He's not rushing his position. But then one Zell once again. Last game it was down B, now it's the plunging. Elegant's really committing to a lot of these options that Goblin keeps with punishing and taking advantage of. I feel like a, another fatal flaw in Elegant's play is that predictability behind Luigi. When you know what the Luigi wants to follow up with, you can punish effectively. But he but didn't know that. That was a mix up and a half. That's Elegant. brand new to the set. Yeah, jab grabs like that. When you got that, I mean, that is somebody scary. That is somebody who has a tell on you. Nice and patient, respecting the falling up air on shield. Good stuff to Elegant. But he got the parry. I don't think that F smash was intentional. He wanted a dash attack. We need more mix ups from Elegant. If Elegant wants to stay alive in this bracket, he needs to continue to mix up his pressure. Force Woo! respect from Goblin. And that's exactly what's going to yep. happen in the 1 1 count. Late hit neutral. Late hit neutral is one of the worst feeling moves to get hit by. I see like elegant like do so like tech chases on platforms especially with late hit neutral. Uh, you can do like nail into down B, nail into up B. You can do nail nail up B. I saw like a couple of times as well. That move is surprisingly safe on hit if you get like the last possible active frame of it. So elegant was really creative at the end and going through something like a back here too. Good execution on his behalf. I think the fact that Elegant, towards the latter half of that game, was that much more willing to just stay patient and wait to see how he can follow up was exactly what he needed to, because that's been that's Ooh. what's been working out so well for Goblin. You know what? He missed that up B. He still put on 70 40 percent. If I'm Elegant, I'm not really complaining. But now he's on town and city against Goy. This is the stage that you want to never go against him. Because uh that side B. A little menacing. That back hit a little bit menacing. It just jab in general and the follow-ups thereafter are pretty spooky. I'm really curious to know what the bands were to have allowed this to happen. Oh my god, and there it is not quite. The Goblin was not able to dash in in time, maybe pressing side B a little bit too soon at that point. But he was also probably a little bit too far as well. Also, Zara, if you blinked, you would have missed it. But we finally saw Elegant try to stay aware of what the follow-up from Goblin was going to be after getting down for And the coverage was forward. Yeah. Finally going to be catching that jump of Goblin, mixing up his ledge trap and flow choke, goes through more preemptive option coverage, finds the up smash out of it, still killing on town and city. Wow. Uh, just like that, Elegant has to even it back up. You know what he wants. He's looking for it. He's fishing. It's all fun and games until the Roy starts falling the up air, though. That's when you know it's going to get dangerous, especially at these lower percentages. Ooh, tries to go for the dash back, pivot grab, getting a couple of hits and a nice scoop up as well. Catching Goblin, jumping on in, maybe getting a little bit too greedy on that side clap. No platform time, though. This is big. Very little room to run away. Okay, Goblin is swinging. He's swinging Every the button way. must go. Clearance sail in neutral. Yeah, just still able to always do the fall of neutral. I mean, at the end of the day, you can kind of just exploit those buttons, too. They're buttons for reason. They're fast, they're fast, strong, and disjointed. So why not press them like there's no tomorrow? Plus, Luigi doesn't really have the buttons to force any type of respect out of the mashing. Uh-oh, this could be big. Goes through the forward. I don't think that's intentional. Maybe he wanted, like, the back of... No, this is the uh, second time set. we've seen forward are trying to cover. I think this Goblin had very yeah. dramatic DI, I guess the best way to put it. Okay, so it's on the side plat just in case Goblin wants to, like, jump back on like that. Side B not going to be able to kill through him downtown like that, but it does put Elegant off stage. Stalls, waits, delays, and Goblin misses another neutral B2 for him. Oh, the feign of the grab? The follow with the down B? Yeah. The survival? Yep, fast follows down the city, but that time it was going to be able to kill off the side. Goblin did not have the luxury of the eye in at that point. But now we are at an even game. It is one to one.
this is anybody's set. This is anybody's game, excuse me, it is best of five. Yeah. But listen, the way that these games and even the stocks have been going back and forth, it's still a hard call as to who's going to take this one because I feel like Goblin has been playing the past couple of games really well. But Elegant starting to come alive with this play. It's on Goblin to just continue that out of On God? On God. <laughs> it's on God, baby. Now he's going to be controlling the stage, waiting to be able to catch Elegant's jump back on, only getting the noodle hit. But uh, Elegant actually misspacing his down and really good SDI in the eye for Goblin just mashing in. Like he don't want to deal with it. So ambiguous, so tricky. There's that jab! It's a back air, yeah. and it's a 2-1 count. Elegant against the ropes now. No. Well, it's that down B once again. It didn't connect, but the biggest thing, it kind of put him off stage. Uh, Elegant keeps on going through these down Bs that he's safe. He's not getting hit for it, but he's also not landing it. He's not getting back onto the stage. He's giving up a lot of positioning. He's giving up a lot of momentum. And then he just keeps putting himself into these unfavorable situations over and over and over again. We saw it a little bit with Zay as well, right? Where he's maybe like going in the wrong direction. Goblin's able to get like a bunch of whip punishes. Same exact thing for the down B. Luigi's, and especially Elegant. Hey, yo, power nap. <laughs> he sleep. All right, he, he, he back, he back, he back. Okay, he so, back in it. Just a little nap. I feel like Elegant would go me, me, me when he sleeps. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely has like the whole nightgown with the, the droopy hat. He like hat. a sleepy cap. Yeah. Yeah. Blindfold as well. Tucks it on Man, the definitely, blankets. when he smells pie, definitely floats. <laughs> Anyways, look at all these Luigi combos. Gonna be missing another upbeat. Uh, Not an upbeat to be found in this set. This is exactly how last game so to see, which I think is bad funny. Who needs up beat if you got your down beat coverage? This pick at the small battlefield paying dividends. Yep. <laughs> it's just looking so good for Elegant right up the gate. Can he keep up that momentum bar? That is the question. I like the dash attack for coverage. Had he dashed back and then gone for the dash forward with the dash attack, that would have been able to connect, but then he crossed up Goblin a little bit too soon. Still going to be living here for a little bit longer. Does he have a double jump? He does have a double jump. Good stuff. Hey, you said it yourself. They live and die by that double jump. And he's living. So the question is, not... Not for long! That's not a question. That's a statement. Get off the mic. <laughs> You're out of here. Oh, right, good nice wait. Up. That wait was excellent. He only got the noodle hit of jab once again, but I respect it nonetheless. Once again, constantly crossing up with dash attack. Goblin not going to be able to find a punish in due time. Goblin is just moving everywhere. I actually think keeping high tempo movement is really important when you consider how often he's pressing his buttons. There's not a lot of space to run away on small battlefield, so you have to figure out some way to stay ambiguous. Yep. Okay, gonna be getting that zero. Gets a dash attack. Like that bit of a wait. He recognized that he was in no position to be able to connect another movement. Maybe he wanted to scout out a preemptive defensive button, but now he's stuck at the ledge. Goblin wants it. He wants something new, but double jump neutral. I don't know what the intention was. It was very bizarre. But hey, listen, things are working out really well for Elliot. One thing that I want to highlight is just as the set has gone on, Elliot has been less and less over committal with his buttons, but you can't be missing the text. Come on. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, that's how it goes. 70 at the ledge, it's supper time. Right, dashing in, dashing out. Gonna be looking for the jump call out, but at the end of the day, you get out button, you get kind of out disjointed. Ooh, that was a really bold air dodge back on, but Goblin was in no position to be able to punish it. Dashing in and out, pressing all these buttons. Now Goblin is finding so many big parries. Elegant needs something big here. These trades are not in his favor. He's trying to shark around, but you can't contest that sword. The fact that Goblin is so willing to swing around while moving into the platforms, yeah. I think is what's really important for Goblin. I want to see an up here from Elegant because Goblin is constantly jumping over him. He's whipping forward and back here. Whoa, He's not hold on! Be able to do it, Goblin takes it three to one over Boy, Elegant. Wins. Not an option. Landing right into the sweet spot of back air, the pop off from Goblin. They're gonna hug it out. Let me see a replay on that. I, would I need like to see, to the, see DI. the DI. I need a, we need to play that mini game. We we should we should go take a little look sees at that. I'm I'm curious. I'm interested. What do we got going on here? Oh. We got the bag check. <laughs> okay, not 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 this stock. Uh, Feels bad. Seems like we will not get replay on it, but considering that that was a straight horizontal shot into the blast zone. I would dare you say. It had to have just suboptimal, to put it nicely. Yeah, maybe not the best. But then again, also, life comes at you fast sometimes. You know, 
You don't Roy always got comes savings. At you, fast. you don't always got like a safety net for yourself, and you're like, oh, I just died. Whoops. That's like, that's like the smash version of a car accident. Like, yeah, you're alive. Wow, but this like, this goes on that Twitter account. What is it? Smashy Bros takes. You know the one that posts all the. I didn't even finish my analogy. It's already a Smash IOL analogy, so it goes Ugh. into the Smash Twitter who takes account. Whatever. You didn't even called. let me go. Yeah, my bad, Frank. I, I sincerely apologize. You know me, my unorthodox analogies. Yeah, I learned from the best. That's why I have such bad analogies too. I'm Get from this guy. Guess. Yeah, you you are actually like half responsible for feeding uh, my 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 issue with and love for bad analogies. It's true. Yeah. This is my child.